Hello friends, this video on food, where does it come from, part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, when it comes to food habits, now as I mentioned before that everybody doesn't eat same food. Why should everybody eat same food when we have so much of variety? Not only in human beings, now, in, now we are talking about different organisms. So if you look at a rabbit, a rabbit might have a different food habit than a cat. So a cat is uh, mostly uh, who feeds on other animals like a cat eats fishes uh, whereas a rabbit never eats fishes. A rabbit loves to eat carrots. Uh, if you see birds, lot of birds they feed on tiny insects or worms whereas a lot of birds they feed only on seeds or leaves of plants. Animals like cows they feed on grasses, plant parts. So different animals have their own food habits, their different feed food habits based on their body structure. Like in case of human beings, we can eat plants, we can also eat animals. So our body structure is designed in such a way that we can digest both plants as well as animals. But in case of lot of animals, their body structure is designed in such a way that they can only eat plant products. Some animals can only digest animal products. So it also depends on the structure of various animals that what should be their food habits. So all those animals which take in complex organic matter as food. So if we are eating leaves of plants, so that is a complex matter. So that is not a very simple thing. So we have to chew it. That needs to get inside our body. That needs to be broken down into simplest form. And that's how we get energy. So that process is called digestion. So basically, uh, most of the animals which we see around us, whether you talk about human beings, you talk about lion, tiger, horse, rabbit, uh, you talk about all the animals which you see around yourself, you will see that all of them eat solid food and solid food is always complex food. So these type of animals which take in solid food, they are called holozoic animals. So when I say, I hope you understood what I mean by complex food, that means uh, something which, are, which is a complex matter, it needs to be broken down inside our body. Now, have you ever heard that a person has fallen ill and he is hospitalized and people say that, you know, uh, he is given saline drips because he was so weak and he couldn't eat anything. So, what are those saline drips? So, saline drips are like simplest form of food that is given to your body. So, once saline drip is given, it directly gets inside your body and it immediately gives you energy because it is already in its simplest form. But when we eat food, whether we eat, uh, whether we drink a glass of juice or we eat, um, say, an omelette or we eat um, a bowl of rice. So it, once we eat it, first it needs to be chewed, then it goes inside our body, it is broken down into the simplest form. Why so many, pro so much of processes happens? Because the food which we are eating, that is complex food. So all animals which eat these kind of solid complex food, they are called holozoic animals. Now in holozoic animals also there are different categories. Now different holozoic animals have different types of food habit. So based on their food habit they are classified into three types. So the first type is herbivores. Herb. What does the term herb means? It means plants. So these type of animals they feed only on plants. Example cow, goat, horse, rabbit, they will only eat plant parts. They will never be able to eat any other animal parts. The next type is carnivores. So these are those animals which feed only on flesh. So they will not eat plant parts. For example, lion, tiger, they are carnivores. On the other hand, there are certain animals which can feed both on plants and animals and they are called omnivores. The best example would be human beings. So human beings, pig, rat, these are examples of omnivores because they equally eat plants as well as animals. In fact, their bodies are designed in such a way that they can digest plants as well as animals. Now, there are certain animals uh, which can sometimes eat plants as well, but mostly they eat animals because their body is designed to digest animals. So those type of animals also fall under the category of carnivores. The example would be cat. A cat can also drink milk. A cat mostly drinks milk, it eats um, fishes. So it is primarily a carnivore. But if you forcefully give it something which is uh, a plant product, sometimes it might eat it. But that doesn't mean that it is uh, a herbivore. So 
cats are classified as carnivores. So let us quickly look at some uh, more examples of animals and try to classify them as herbivore, carnivore or omnivore. So herbivore would be plants, carnivore animals and omnivore both. So let us look at this set of animals. So you have the elephant. So elephant is a herbivore because it eats only plants. You have a goat. Goat is again a herbivore. You have a dog. What about dog? Now dogs are natural carnivores. So if you look at their body structure, their teeth type and all that. So they, they are perfect as carnivores. But sometimes they also behave like an omnivore. So some dogs behave like omnivore. But normally they are carnivores. You think of a rat. So rat is an omnivore. It eats both tiny insects. And at the same time it eats normal food like cereals or plant parts. Tiger. Tiger is definitely a carnivore. It, it only eats other animals. Similar is the case for lions. They also eat only other animals. So it's carnivore. Human beings. Human beings are best example for omnivore because they eat both plants as well as animals. Cats. Cats are carnivores because they mostly eat flesh. So 90% of their nutrition comes from meat. However, they eat little bit of plant parts here and there but mostly they are carnivores. Butterflies. Butterflies are again herbivores because they feed on nectars from other flowers. So they drink pollen. So they are definitely herbivores. Cows are also herbivores because they feed on plants. Horse. Horse is again a herbivore. Think of a spider. Spider is an omnivore because spider also eats up a lot of tiny insects. So it's an omnivore and it also feeds on normal grains or any plant parts. Zebra. So zebra is a herbivore. It feeds only on plants. Crow is again an omnivore because it feeds on filth, uh, some dead animals as well as plant parts. Lizard. The household, the, the house lizard which you see. So most of the lizards are carnivores but some of them are herbivores as well. So it depends. Now in lizards you have many different varieties of lizards. So some varieties of lizards are carnivores. That is they eat mosquitoes or other flies. Whereas some lizards are like pure herbivores. They do not eat any other insects. They only eat normal plant parts. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.